Hey, it's Andrew from Fly. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about Google Analytics. Uh, what Google Analytics is, is kind of becoming the standard way to show the amount of traffic you have in your site. Not just for yourself, but if you want to show other people. Um, so in the past, it used to be that you typically had your own stat program running on your server. And it would tell you how many hits you got. And it would give you all the statistics. The only problem with that is it's, um, it's not it's coming directly from you. There's no third party kind of verifying that these are actually correct. And so what Google Analytics does is not only is it a much better stats program, not only can it tell you some really nice information that you want, but also since it's from Google, and since you can give access to other people to log in and look at it, um, basically now they can trust that, hey, these are real, you know, because I mean, either you believe that Google is running a legit thing or you don't, you don't have to trust the individual guy with, with the site. So I'm going to walk through some screenshots here and show you what it looks like for, for the sites we're running and give you a glimpse into Google Analytics. So here we are logged into our main Google Analytics page. Uh, these are all the sites for Fly Publishing. Uh, we have eight sites that we're running that get a significant amount of traffic. We have other sites that really aren't getting much traffic, so we haven't bothered to enter them here in Google Analytics. But the main eight are uh, actors.com, where you vote for your favorite actor, all pets, where you vote for your favorite pet, athlete, your favorite athlete, Celeb, or Celeb, depending on how you want to pronounce it, where you vote for favorite celebrity. Deciders, favorite politician. Muzak, favorite music. Uh, movie, favorite movie. And TV, favorite TV show. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, right? So the biggest ones are Muzak and TV. Uh, TV was the first one, and then we spun it off into Muzak, and then the rest kind of followed. But by far, Muzak and TV get the most traffic, followed by Celeb, and then maybe actors, and then the rest kind of follow on down the, down the line. But... Let me zoom in here on one of them in particular. We'll start with, with Muzak since it has the most traffic, and I'm gonna click on View Reports. All right, so this is the main uh, report page for Muzak. Uh, when you enter in all the reports, this is the first page you see. It's kind of the summary of the important things you wanna look at. Um, one of the neat features is that one on the lower left where you see the geo map overlay. You can see little dots across the whole world as to where your visitors are coming from. Uh, over on the left though, that date range, you'll see that this is only showing data for the last couple of days. I just recently added Google Analytics. Uh, I had been using a previous stats program and I knew about Google Analytics, but I just, it was something on my list I hadn't gotten around to doing yet. And I really should have moved them over a lot sooner. So I only have, let's see, like uh, five or six days of data, but it's enough to show you what's going on. And I'm gonna keep running Google Analytics and maybe in future videos, we'll show you even more. But So let me zoom in now on the upper left uh, little box there, which says visits and page views. So kind of the main stats everyone's always talking about are visits and page views. And um, the other one is actually unique visitors, which is kind of a different way to define visits. But let's go over what each one is. So a visit is just simply one session or one time at a website. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're unique. It doesn't necessarily mean that you haven't been to this website before, maybe even in the same day. It just means this is one visit. So if you can imagine yourself how you use YouTube, maybe in the morning, you log into YouTube and you watch a few videos and then you close your browser and maybe an hour later you come back and you watch some more. Well, that's two visits. You know, even though you're the same person, it's a whole separate visit. And it's kind of arbitrary how long of time has to pass before it is considered a new visit. Um, half an hour is often used, you know, 30 minutes or some amount is determined between, you know, when you're, if you're on YouTube all day, you know, you never take a break, that's just one visit. But if there's some sort of substantial break and then you come back, that's a second visit. Uh, page views is different. Page views is just simply, the number of times any page has been loaded, regardless of who loaded it. So in theory, you see here that over this date range, we have over 500,000 page views. In theory, those could all come from the same person. It could just be one person clicking over and over and over again. And that's very unlikely. Typically, to get that many page views, you have to have lots and lots of people clicking. So page views has nothing to do with visits. It's just the number of times that the page has been loaded or refreshed. Or, you know, that refresh button counts as an extra page view. Or every time you click a link, that's another page view. Uh, and visits is just, you know, a, a, a particular time at that website. Now, unique visitors, which isn't shown here yet, is how many of those visits come from different people. And that's determined by a cookie on your computer or your IP address or a combination thereof. But, so those are the basic points that you wanna know. It's, you know, how many times are people coming to your website, how many individual people, and how many total page views. So you can see here from this date range that um, we just started, we just added the Google Analytics code on Saturday, 12, 16. So there was zero data there for a while. And then it goes on all the way to Friday the 22nd. And you can see that uh, on average, if you look at the graph, number of visits goes all the way up to 5,000, that's the scale. And so we're somewhere below 5,000, somewhere around you know, 2,000, 3,000, 
number of visits per day. And page views goes all the way up to 200,000. So we're somewhere around, you know, 100,000, 150,000 page views. And we'll see those numbers in more detail as we go on. But, and of course, this is just for one site. This is just for Muzak. So if you want to know the total amount of traffic we have for all the sites, you got to look at each individual report. All right, so let's move on to the, to the next slide. All right, so this one is actually unique visitors. This is visitors graph. So rather than visits, it uses the word visitors, meaning unique visits, or unique visitors. And so here you can see each day how many actual different people came to the site. And so 2,000 in one day, went down to 1,000 on Tuesday, and back up to 2,000, Friday all the way up to 3,000. And so it's not a perfect science. It's an estimate because you're trying to use you know, cookies and IP addresses and people can delete cookies and change their IP addresses. And it's a good approximation though. And, and no one does it better than Google. So if I'm going to trust the numbers. I, I, I like to trust these numbers. So here's the page views in more detail. You can actually see the numbers here. We have 134,000 on Tuesday, 132,000 on Wednesday. And on Monday, we didn't have a full set of data yet because we just added the Google Analytics code. So that's not a complete day. So you can see on average, Muzak is getting around 120, 130,000. And then if you add up all the other sites, if you add up TV and uh, Sleb and all the other ones, it comes to around 400,000 page views a day. Uh, that number is the one I look at the most because even though unique visitors is important and you want you know lots and lots of other different people, right now with Google AdWords, um, number of page views is and uh, the percentage of those page views that actually result in a click to an ad is what I'm really looking at. So um, this is the, the number that tracks my eye the most when I log into analytics. And so I saved the best slide for last year, I think. Uh, after going through all those stats and looking at, uh, you know, tracking how many people you're getting, it's really all to a means to an end, right? You want to see how does this result in money. And so here is a screenshot from our online bank with our, uh, our business checking account uh, for Five Publishing LLC. And I'll zoom in here in a second so you can see it better. But you can see uh, the majority of our deposits are from Google AdSense revenue share. Um, like clockwork each month, we're getting these deposits from all that traffic. And, and you can see here our first Google AdSense was only for $100, and then our next one was for $494. And then it kind of started, you know, getting to where it is normally, like now, right around $1,500 to $2,500 a month. So $1,600, and then $2,300, then $1,700. And it goes all the way up to our most recent one of $2,500. And we're about to get another one for $1,800, which will pay for this brand new Mac. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank. Apple for um, this Mac to be able to produce this video. This is hopefully a better quality video than the previous ones we've done, and we'll try to do better ones from here. This is Andrew from Flight.